Bless you too, Felicita. Hi everyone, hello, greetings from my end, this is evening in my, from my own base, so greetings, good evening to you all, thank you for joining, kindly share and invite a friend, we'll be starting in just about uh, three minutes, kindly share, invite a friend, let's talk about the lockdown in our territory and the elections, the planned La Republic elections in our territory. So kindly share and invite someone. We'll be starting in about three minutes. Okay, guys, uh, I think we're going to start right away and others who join us as uh, we are into the program. Not to waste much of your time and those that have been here on time, let us respect those who actually join the program on time. So, as usual, we are going to start the program with the Ambazonian National Anthem. This is what binds us as a people, as a nation. And there is need for us to always, at all times, honor the Ambazonian National Anthem. So join me. Children shall be like the stars above. 
the most high God be the watchman of his nation. I'm a soldier, land of freedom. You shall live in plenty, meet in our need. And your children shall be like the stars above. The most high God be the watchman of his nation. Oof. That was great. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everyone. Thank you once again for tuning in. This is your comrade, Amabo Cecilia Binui, of course. Today, we're going to be talking about the lockdown in Ambazonia and also the elections, the Plan La Republic elections in our territory. But before we get into that, as usual, we want to acknowledge we actually want to acknowledge our fighters on the ground. Without our fighters on the ground, the great patriots, the great volunteer patriots of uh, uh, Ground Zero, we wouldn't be having this discussion. There will be nothing like the Ambazonia War of Independence. So we want to really give it out to them. We give, give a shout out to them for their tenacity, for their resilience, for, for their courage as they stand the bullet on a daily basis. We can never thank them enough. We can never really appreciate them for their bravery. We can never thank them enough. But we will say, thank you for standing strong for Ambazonia. Thank you for standing to defend Mother Ambazonia. And thank you for fighting for the generation yet unborn. We will also want to extend or give a shout out to our heroes who are in the various dungeons of La Republic to Cameroon. We want them to know. I want to give a shout out to Num, Numvi Walters. I salute you, great patriot. I want to salute every other Ambazonian fighter or patriot that is languishing in the jails of uh, La Republic du Cameroon. We want them to know that we respect them. We always respect them and we will continue to stand and fight with them. They have even been a source of inspiration to most of us because even in the heart of La Republic du Cameroon, we see our, our, our heroes standing and fighting, fighting to defend the cause for which they believe in. When some of us, we cannot even fight with the freedom that we have, but they're still in the chains. We chains on them can still fight against the brute force, uh, forces of La Republic du Cameroon. So we want to say thank you for your tenacity. Thank you for the resilience. Thank you for still believing in the cause. Thank you for believing in the freedom of Ambazonia. And we want to give a shout out to our mothers. Our heart go to them. To our mothers, our children, our siblings, our fathers who are in the bushes, various bushes across Ambazonia. Those that have traveled across the borders of Ambazonia and they are hiding in other countries. We want to let them know that we stand with them. We actually acknowledge the sacrifices. They've sacrificed their lives. Their homes have been raised down. Their, their families have been destroyed. Their children have been taken away from them. Their husbands have been snatched from them. Their wives and all that has been done to them. But yet they still stand strong because they believe in the independence of Ambazonia. Because they believe in this cause. They believe in the reason why we are fighting. So we want to say thank you very much for your tenacity. Thank you for the resilience. Thank you for your steadfastness. We can never thank you enough. To those of our brothers and sisters, our mothers, our fathers, who are in various refugee camps, in, in, in any of the refugee camps in Cross River State or in Nigeria as a whole, we want to say our hearts are with you. We also want to, we want to say we, we, we understand the pains you're going through. We know that you're suffering, but we want to promise you that this will not be for long. Your suffering will not be for long because those of us who have our liberty, we are fighting tirelessly to make sure that you all return home to a place that you proudly call home. A place that you will call home, a place that you will walk about freely, a place that you will have a right to make your own decisions on what you want to do with your life. So that is what the kind of place we want to provide for you and your children. And we want to give a th I, this is uh, this is just to 
it's not supposed to be done on social media but we also just want to thank uh well i will reserve that documentations are ongoing for that so we want to thank everybody we want to thank all of us also in the diaspora we've been playing a very active role even when we at times do not realize it but we we have a very pivotal role that we're playing in this revolution and we can never uh, uh, ignore that the activists in this revolution those that have given their lives to fight to always report what is happening on the ground. That is how we gain international coverage. That is how our plight is taken out at the level, at the international community. And that is what helps to foster our diplomatic works and all that. So we want to really appreciate all the activists. We want to appreciate everyone, uh, every one of us and Ambazonian, Ambazonians who are fighting for the freedom of our homeland. We will fight, but we know that we are fighting for one country, and that is Ambazonia. So thank you guys for coming in, for tuning in this evening. Like I said, we want to talk about the uh, lockdown in Ambazonia. We've been seeing images circulating about the lockdown today, which means the territory is already locked down as from today. But I want to talk about the lockdown starting tomorrow. And I want to give a message to our parents, to the enablers within our territory, to, uh, uh, to our fighters on the ground, to those uh, international members, whoever those are. I also want to talk about the importance of this lockdown to our nation and to our people, fellow Ambalanders. I know uh, we are already celebrating. Of course, Ambazonians are celebrating because any action that we take, any singular action take against La Republic to Cameroon, it is very significant, not just in crippling the economy, but also sending a clear message to La Republic du Cameroon and to the international community about our resilience, our determination to maintain and protect our independence because we are an independent state. We are an independent state. Dr. Ayaba always said that to have to, uh, uh, to declare independence is not just about declaring it, but there, is, there are faces to that. You have to declare it. You have to defend it and you have to seek for international recognition in maintaining that independence that you've declared. So we have declared that independence. We have redeclared that independence. We are defending that independence and we are still, even at, the, at this time, seeking for that international recognition. And that those are the faces that we are actually in and we will definitely come to that final push where we will take our La Republic to Cameroon from our territory. So we want to thank our mothers who are already observing, who are already observing the indoor or the lockdown within the territory, our people, and to call to others who still have plans, those who still have plans, because they are moved by 2,000 or 1,000 that somebody calls them. We see pictures these days before they will come with bread and sardine to deceive our people to go out and eat because they have no food in their homes because that is a message they're trying to pass to our people that we do not have food. So in order to solicit for our votes against an election that we do not even recognize within our territory, they bring sardine and bread to deceive gullible, francophones that are living within our territory or whatever that are living within our territory to pose as ambazonians that are going to vote for them but we ambazonians we we have lived with them within these past three years and above we've studied the way they operate and we have become more wiser and we know exactly how to deal with them and we want to thank our parents for already understanding the monster that we're dealing with already understand they've already understood uh the enablers that have been set among us going about doing what they call campaigns 
and I also just want to bring this to Amazonians. I know a lot of people may have felt discouraged when they saw pictures of uh, La Republic campaigns going on within our territory. And even we saw boxes within Le Bialem that uh, these are already, we assume these are already resolved. That is how La Republic uh, operates. This is something we don't have to even uh, be worried about or, or be surprised about. We all know that if an election is called in La Republic, I mean a neighboring country. Maybe if it is announced that the next coming election is in seven years, you and I already know who the winner of that election is. You already know who the winner of the election is without necessarily casting your vote. Whether you cast your vote or not, they already know who the, elect the winner of the election is. So that is not of their country and it has virtually nothing to do with Amazonia. We are uh, uh, Ambazonians. Ambazonia is an independent nation of its own. And we, by trying to promote La Republic election in our territory, will be legitimizing La Republic over Ambazonia. For it to have legitimacy over Ambazonia, over uh, uh, try to run the affairs of Ambazonia, impose its rule on Ambazonia, its laws on Ambazonia. But we know that La Republic. Uh, 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 does not have uh, those power. They do not have those powers to impose their rule on us, to tell us what to do anymore because we are a nation. And we as a nation, we've not organized any election in our territory as of yet. When the time for us to organize an election comes, Ambazonians will, will rise in their numbers and vote their representatives within Ambazonia. La Republic election is an illegal election in Ambazonia. La Republic is no longer, we, Ambazonians, are no longer part of La Republic. So La Republic election in our territory is an illegal act. They do not have that legitimacy to come within our territory and organize an election. And for us to let them know that we have separated from them, that we are a separate nation, we have to boycott those elections. By boycotting those elections, we mean absolutely boycotting those elections. So that they will, the message that they have been refusing to accept of, to allow to sink into their brains, it will sink into their brains that these people no longer, are no longer part of us. They are a nation of their own. They do not belong with us. So that is why we call on our people to know that if you allow yourself to be deceived, you go out and cast your vote, you are legitimating, you are saying that the Republic still controls Ambazonia, that La Republic can come into Ambazonia and impose its laws, that you are legitimizing La Republic in Ambazonia, so they have control over Ambazonia, they continue to be the master, and we will continue to be the slave. And that is not the Ambazonian that we want to be, people who still have that mindset. So we are calling on Ambazonians to begin to recognize, recognize the fact that we no longer belong, we are no longer part of La Republic du Cameroon. We are no longer part of La Republic du Cameroon. Don't be deceived. Let us not be deceived. I'm talking to our parents back on ground zero. Our mothers, our fathers, our siblings, who are within ground zero, who allow themselves to run behind, climb Okadas and do make all the noise and, and feel that there is somebody to protect them. First of all, what election are we talking about? They were organizing election in Ambazonia. This is already a message to let us know that they are com they've been completely defeated in Ambazonia. Because if you are organizing an election that needs the people to come and cast their vote, which is a, sov a, 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 a civic right for every citizen to, to, to cast their vote in support of a government or, any, or to cho choose their own representatives, you don't have to coerce these people using force. We have seen the number of forces that have been deployed into Ambazonia just to force people out of their homes to come and vote. 
you don't go about in a country that you have legitimacy in it a country that you call your own and you bring forces of law and order to force people out of their homes to go and vote you don't in a country that you have control and legitimacy you don't use your administrative uh, 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 agents to send out warning letters to uh to, to members of the community or uh, those that they control to to threaten them that if they do not go out to vote there will be sincere consequences you don't need to remind any uh, a sane citizen who understand his civic right that he has to go out and vote because by law as a citizen that you are of age of voting age you are under a civic duty to go and vote so you don't need to be forced or you don't need to be reminded because you will willfully go out and represent and and uh, a, a vote for your own representatives to represent you at what level whether in the assembly or wherever that the uh, those people whatever the elections will be for that time so this is already a message this is already clear these are clear signs for the world to see that we no longer belong to la republic and for ambazonians to know that this is completely a different country coming into our country to impose on us what to do because if La Republic had control over Ambazonia. La Republic would not deploy tanks, military upon military, to come into Ambazonia to force people out of their homes to go and vote. But Ambalandas, this is already a clear message. Let us make it explicitly clear to the international community that we are not part of La Republic to Cameroon by staying home. Don't go out to go and legitimize La Republic to Cameroon over in Ambazonia. Don't forget that you have, I don't know, some parents all their lives they voted for the same government. I mean all their lives. Some of us were born in the system when the president was already a president. We grew up to know that we had this president and we are still there today. We are here today and he's still president. So you ask yourself, what are you voting for? What change are you seeking? Do you think it's because Ambazonians have risen and declared their independence and they are defending it that they will come and tell you that, no, we have a better plan for you people. What plan can they have for you people? Special status or decentralization and all that. You have to know that for the past 57 years, you've been voting for the same person who has been promising you the same things over and over again and has never done anything to change or to fulfill those promises. They come to you during their election campaigns. They kind of money we all know how much is uh, is given to each political party in cameroon for that we they have 48 millions 48 to uh, 45 to 48 million is given to each political party for the campaign so what they have to do is just come out buy you these days i see what they present to the people is uh uh ships lambs and also plantain so they they, they migrated from uh, sardine and bread into this ambalandas we have to wise up. You don't have to allow yourself to be deceived by a bunch of plantain and a stolen gold because they, 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 they come into our communities, they, they raise down our communities, they steal, they loot our properties, they take our livestock, they, they kill some, they carry to their camps, they go and eat, they feed on our livestock, our, our crops that have been stored in warehouses, that is what they do. They take what is ours, bring it to us to deceive us, to say this is what they've come to present to you because they think that you're starving. Ambalanders, the same people that are coming to deceive us, you, our mothers, our fathers who are still uh, who are in the territory to go and vote for them are the same people who have cost over a hundred thousand who have cost over a million of your fellow brothers and sisters to be hiding in bushes because they have raised down their homes they've killed their husbands in their sleep they've killed their mothers in their sleep they've killed their parents in their sleep they have burned them to death they have gathered your youth killed them like animals set their corpses ablaze those are the same people who come to you dressing in white pretending to be saints 
who are the same people that are speeding your blood. They come to you, they hug you, and then they put a knife on your back. But yet, some of you want to allow yourself to be deceived. This message is for you. Don't be deceived. Don't be deceived. For over 57 years, you've been doing the same thing over and over again. They've been giving you the same promises. Those roads, the promise that they were going to construct in your community. You are still walking in that mud. You still, you still uh, 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 consume that dust during the dry season, in the rainy season. You are still there. You get splashed mud on, uh, on, your, on your dress, on your way to wherever you're going by cars passing. That is just still the same person that is coming to solicit for your vote and you cannot afford to give that vote to that person because you will be legitimizing that person and you will be giving that person you will continually be a slave to that person and that person will be your master and there is no thing there is no uh, 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 a conversation medium between a master and a slave the master comes and imposes on you this is what you have to do as an and as a slave you're just supposed to follow the rules and that is not who we are we are masters now we are masters now we are no longer slaves we have gained our independence we are maintaining we are fighting to defend that independence and that is what you should be concentrating on fellow mothers fellow fathers brothers and sisters who are easily used i want you all to understand that the same monster that is coming to deceive some of you to ask you to go and vote is the same monster that raised down Bali. Is the same monster that destroyed homes in Bui, that killed your brothers and your sisters in, uh, in, in Biame last week and set them on, uh, uh, on fire. Are the same people who decapitated Samsoya and chopped him into pieces like an ordinary... Like, like, oh Jesus, Ambalanders, do not be deceived. We have said, stay at home. And you can see for yourself that we are not just saying stay at home just to keep you from moving around and doing your own things, but to let you know that this fight that we are fighting is a legitimate fight. And we are fighting not just to fight, but to give freedom to our children who are languishing in bushes, but to give uh, 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 freedom to our mothers whose homes have been destroyed, to the people whose lives have been taken away, who have fought for freedom and their lives have been destroyed. So we are trying to honor the memory and give our children and children's children a future that we never had. The opportunity to live free in their own land and make their own decision, control their own economy, decide on their own uh, educational curriculum, decide on the, uh, the economic system they want in their own country and make their own, uh, dis, uh, choose their own leaders at will. That is the kind of country we are, we are fighting to defend because we already have it. We already have it. So defend that country by staying indoors and not allowing yourself to be deceived or to allow a thousand or two thousand to take you out of your home to cause you not to return home. This is the country. This is why we fight. This is why we fight so that we can decide what kind of education we want for our children. We can decide what kind of future we want for our children. We can decide what kind of economy we want for our nation, which is most important. We can decide on how we can manage the resources that God has blessed our country with, on how we can develop that country. That is why we are fighting. To make sure that the future generation does not go through what we've been through. That our parents have been through. Our parents, some of our parents fought and died without seeing the freedom that they're looking for. But today we have that freedom. We have that freedom from our minds to even the physical uh, free homeland that we've had. So we should be able to maintain that freedom. Let us continue to fight to maintain that freedom. Do not allow yourself to be deceived. Ambalanders, do not allow yourself to be deceived. Their action alone. If you think that you are, you, uh, you if you think that we're saying don't go out, we're trying to deceive you. Ask yourself why will any government use military, use military to ask its own people to go and vote? Voting 
is a free will. You have a civic right to vote, but you don't have to be compelled to vote. You vote because you see that the policies presented by this person are the kind of policies that will bring freedom to your people. That is why you vote. You don't vote because somebody says you will vote or you will die. So, Amber Landers, we are gone past that stage. Nobody will coerce us. Nobody will force us into leaving our homes to go and vote because we have not organized any legitimate election in Ambazonia. When Ambazonia will finally stand on its feet, we will organize an election that will allow you to move freely within your territory without military surrounding your homes or without tankers moving around in your country to... Uh, 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 to uh, without gendarmes everywhere, bees everywhere, terrorizing the people, uh, uh, preventing you from gathering in places, pro uh, taking away your freedom of speech or association or assembly. We have not gotten that. We have not reached that stage. Once we get, we, ha we are on our feet and organized election, you will move about freely and go and vote without anybody forcing you to go and vote. So, Amber Landers, this is not your election. This election Bazonia is illegal. We it is an illegal election and you cannot make it legal by voting. Because if you cast your vote, then you are accepting that you continue to pay allegiance to that person in your territory. You continue to uh, 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 render your support to that government that kills your people, that government that set your communities ablaze, that government that causes your own people to sleep in bushes, dine with mosquitoes, dine with reptiles, uh, 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 children singing with birds in the bush. That is the kind of thing. That is what you would be doing when you cast your vote. And you cannot allow someone that has destroyed your economy, destroyed your life, killed your own. Those of you who want to, who are even thinking of going out to vote, don't forget that if your brother, your sister has not been killed by that same person that brought you uh, plantain and goats or, or lambs and sheep and whatever to deceive you, your own day is coming. When you cast your vote, they will bring you down. When you go and put your vote, they will bring you down and your corpse will go back to your home. So don't be deceived. A snake is always a snake. That is La Republic. We don't have any elections in Ambazonia, so you don't have to go out to vote. Amber Landers, have you asked yourself uh, uh, why anybody going to campaign will wear uh, 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 bulletproofs, will, 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 will walk in armor tanks, and uh, is going around with a convoy of maybe 50 uh, uh, soldiers. Who, I mean, in, a, in this world that we are, in a democratic world that you can f move about freely, you can, you, you can talk to people freely, you can associate with people freely, you can express yourself freely, and you don't need to be walking around with guards all the time. Who, I mean, if this is your country, why will you go about like that? Why will you go about in such an uncomfortable attire, in such an un uncomfortable car, in such an intense atmosphere? If you know that you actually have authority and you, you have control over that uh, territory or that piece of land or over, that, uh, over the people in that territory, that should be a lesson we should, be, we should never forget. We should learn from the things that happen around us. We should, before 2016, who, you will not see them coming with, uh, with tanks, with people wearing life jacket, uh, uh, bulletproofs, uh, 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 accompanied by a thousand of troops and all that. Because before then, they had that control over us. But when we decided that enough is enough, and we stood up, you can see that they have no control over us. And this will continue only by our collab uh, a collective effort. So we will not be fighting, then you will allow yourself to be deceived. Amber Landers. Election in Ambazonia? No. There is no election in Ambazonia. Mothers, fathers, stay at home. Stay at home and be safe. Stay at home and be safe. Don't be deceived to go out because when you go out, you will not. The same people who are calling you out will put a bullet to your face. Don't be deceived. 
don't be deceived. Your life is very important. Your life is very important. Your life is very important. I am insisting. Your life is very important. A thousand francs will not give you your life. A bunch of plantain will not give you your life. Stay at home and be safe. Stay at home and be safe. Lockdown has started in some parts of Amazonia. We appreciate you for honoring it. And as tomorrow begins, stay at home. Stay at home and allow the fighters who know how to fight to fight. Because if you go out, you will be obstructing them. Because they won't know whether to defend you, to protect you, or to fight against the enemy. We are pleading with you to not give our fighters too much work. Allow them to focus on the enemy. Allow them to concentrate on the enemy. Do not go out because our fighters will not be able to protect you and fight the enemy at the same time. They are enemy focused right now. What they want to do is make sure there is no election in Amazonia. If you go out, you're putting yourself at risk. Because nobody has the, no fighter will be struggling to protect you and fighting against the enemy at the same time. So it is a clear message that we've been bringing out, not just today. We've announced it. We've called on you all to know that from this day, from tomorrow, you have to stay at home. You have to stay at home for your own good and for uh, and to ease the burden on our fighters. To ease the burden on our fighters. Ambalanders, I repeat, our fighters will not have the capacity to protect you when bullets start flying and when La Republic attacks you, they will not have that capacity to protect you and be fighting the enemy at the same time. They will concentrate on fighting the enemy. So do not put yourself at risk. Stay at home. We already told you to stock your homes with whatever you can and do not go out whether tomorrow or on the 9th. No, stay at home and be safe. Stay at home and be safe. We are pleading with you because we love you. But if you choose to be the stubborn fly, then you will end up following the corpse to the grave. I also want to um, a further message to Amazonians across the globe. I just want us just to remind us. I just want to remind us that, look, the fight that we are fighting now, our fight will fail not because if at all somebody wants it to fail, it will fail because of us, not because of the fighters, because our fighters are so determined they are so strong and they are willing to give their lives to make sure that Ambazonia is free. So what we need, Ambalanders, is to stand and defend and protect and provide to those guys what they need to defend us, to defend Mother Ambazonia. Their spirit is lifted every single day they wake up. They have a new vision. They have a new spirit in them to fight and never to drop their weapons. To fight to bring freedom to their mothers. When they see their brothers slain, they, it, doesn't, it doesn't weaken them. It rather motivates them to fight to make sure that the death of their brothers, the death of their comrades is it's avenged. So we should, as Ambazonians, stop talking and start acting. We should honestly stop talking and start acting. Let us provide to those guys on the ground who are willing, who are determined, who are not blinking even when La Republic comes in with tanks, who, even when La Republic comes in with armor, uh, armor cars, when, when you can see bees uh, 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 flogging into the territory, they just smile over it. And they say they are not moved. Yes, they say they are not moved. Because they believe in what they are doing. They believe that the cause they are fighting is true. And because of that, it gives them strength every day. They wake up with new spirit to fight. So what we need to do is give them what they need to fight. What they need as fighters to use to fight to defend our homeland. Not us dividing them. Not us pushing them to kill one another. That is not the spirit our fighters uh, 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 want. 
that motivation that will make them to give their all and all because they are willing to do it. They just want that motivation from us so that they can fight and take out La Republic from our territory and return their parents home and return their brothers home, return their children home because most of them fighting their children are in the bushes. Most of them fighting, their, some of them, their parents are in the bushes. They want to bring back their parents. They want to bring back their children in a free land, in a land that they can call their own, a land that they will boast to say, yes, we fought and defended it and we have it that is what they need the spirit that they need from us is to fight encourage them give them what they need to fight not to go about inciting hatred in their minds causing them to fight one another instead of concentrating on the enemy they are there trying to fight one another that is not what our fighters on the ground need and what we need as a people we need that leadership that has a clear, that is focused, that has a clear vision, a clear plan for the liberation of Amazonia. When you refuse to accept these things, then we will continue to prolong the, the, uh, the suffering of our people. Our guys are determined. And what we need is to rally ourselves behind the leader or the leadership that has the plan for the liberation of Amazonia. That is what we need as a people. We cannot come out every day and shout, foul and shout about this person or cry and say our people are suffering and yet we contribute 99.99% to the suffering of our people. And we pretend on a daily basis to be those who know how to do videos more, those who can do all more and those that can write long letters in the name of essays and the name of commenting in forums and all that more no we have to acknowledge we have that leadership that leader that has a stand for ambazonia let us rally ourselves liberate ambazonia end the suffering of our people give to our guys what they want on the ground then after that if you want to go and uh, uh, be uh, the Atanganji of Ambazonia. Oh, you're welcome to do that. If you want to go and be the poor or uh, uh, came up Patrick, uh, let him rot in hell. You can come do that as well. You're welcome. But let us rally ourselves. Ambalandas, let us rally ourselves and chase La Republic out of our territory. Let's stop this noise here and there and rally ourselves we have a force on the ground that is determined to fight that is our pride we didn't have people who were willing to give up everything to fight for us and then we can be we can be sorry for ourselves that we we are doing what we are doing but we have a people we have our boys on the ground that are willing to give they are willing to die to make sure that we have a free homeland but we have refused to rally ourselves behind these willing people to defend and bring out La Republic from our homeland. Ambalanders, it's not how many times we come out to talk. I will not just be coming out to talk because I know how to talk. No. Or I just want to come and show people my pretty face. No, I'm not interested in that. But I want to come out because there is something I want to keep put in the mind of somebody out here in, in the diaspora on, or, or on ground zero. Let us understand why we are fighting. Let us understand why we are here. Let us not forget so soon what we have gone through. I, have, I, I, I always have a problem with us Ambazonians. It's, it looks like we forget too soon. Because when you sit and visualize the way Sam Soya was slaughtered, the way he was decapitated, the way Mami Api was lined, the ashes of when you see the way our boys were rally in Bali and roasted, if you see the way the ones in Biami were roasted, if you see the way our boys have been killed, some tight, or, or their hands tied to their backs and a bullet straight to their heads, and then we forget about all this? For what? That because the blood that has been spilled is not ours and then we just have to forget about it? You don't have to forget. Be angry about these things. When you're angry, that is when you begin to face La Republic. That is when you tell La Republic, enough is enough. Get the hell out of our territory. That is the spirit we should always have. 
the leader of the Ambazonian Governing Council, Dr. Cho Lucas Ayaba, will always tell you that we will not be building reconciliation committees in Ambazonia. No, no, no. You will pay for your actions. You will pay reparation for the things that you've destroyed in Ambazonia and the lives that have been lost, the properties that have been destroyed in you will pay for it. So let us not just come here and sit and pretend. Let's not forget about these things. We can't forget about these things because if you forget, <laughs> if you forget, then we don't have a reason to fight. Our parents forgot about these things, and we've been in this for 57 years. Ambalanders, we have the opportunity now to change things, to rewrite history and give a free homeland to our people. Be proud someday to say that I was part of the fight, of the fight that brought the liberation of Ambazonia. And you of that fight if you begin to remember these things that have been done to our people you see baby Martha how many months old she, a baby killed mercilessly by a man a grown-up man trained to protect lives but he is ready to waste those lives because his master says shoot and he shoots because he's a robot when they say shoot he shoots it doesn't matter if it is a, a pregnant woman that is about to deliver, a nine months old uh, a pregnant woman that is just uh, uh, maybe on her way to the hospital to bring forth in this war a beautiful soul. That woman is shot and killed and the unborn child dies without even seeing the light of this war. Not just that. Her corpse is set ablaze. You don't have to forget about these things. We cannot forget about these things because if we forget about these things, we have no reason to fight. Ambalanders, we have no reason to fight. When you remember the way baby Martha's mother cried, that is what will keep you fighting. When you remember the way Samsoya was decapitated, you will, rem you will continue to fight. When you remember how your brothers were, 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 were bundled and, and uh, uh, bundled and, 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 ki oh, and buried in mass graves while alive. You will fight to take that monster the hell out of your territory. You will fight. So that is what we should do. Never forget what has been done to us. If our forefathers forget, don't forget it. This generation, let us not forget it because we are the never again generation. And it, it, it is for us to rise as a people and rally ourselves and kick La Republic out of our territory. It is us who can do that. If you know that your mother is, when you call home, your mother is crying, you have a duty as an, an Ambazonian national to fight to make sure that you bring joy to your mother. That in her old age, she has to just sit and enjoy the fruit of her labor. Not that she will labor from, from her early days as a bride, even in her, in her old age that she's become a great-grandmother, she is still laboring. No, you have to make her feel some level of comfort because she was not just born to come and suffer in this world. She also has the right to, to reap from what she has sown. And we can do that. Ambalanders. Ambalanders. Our mothers, our fathers in ground zero. Look, a thousand francs will not give you freedom. You have been collecting. I remember, I can remember it vividly. A woman that had about seven different political uh, parties uniforms. About seven of them. She goes from one political party, collect 2,000, goes to the next one, collect 1,000, goes to the next one, collect 5,000. And yet, they still vote for the same person who has brought that hardship on them. Because the reason for her going to collect those 1,000, 2,000, 5,000 is just to be able to survive. But they still, at the end of the day, go to vote for the same person that has brought on toll hardship on them and their children. You cannot continue to be a slave all your life. You need to be a master sometime and, and enjoy and know what it feels like to be a master. And know what it feels like not to be a slave. That is what what Ambazonia is giving you, that opportunity to be a master of your own in your own land. You cannot throw away that opportunity because somebody has given you a cup of, uh, a, a, a bottle of, uh, of Trantra Expo or music and then a 10,000 or 1,000 or 2,000. You can do more than, you, you can do better. Mothers, 
and fathers. You have suffered enough. It is time for you to sit back, relax, and allow your children to take care of you because you've suffered enough for the past 57 years. You've tore, you've tore the soil of Ambazonia even when you harvest it, even when you, you, you grow your crops, they come and set them ablaze. Those that succeed in reaping those crops, they take them to their warehouses, they come and set them ablaze. Loot those things that they have labored for, taken to their own home country. That is what they do. And that is what they will continue to do to you if you do not stand on your feet and say, no, we are stamping out this evil from our land. Ambalanders, like I said, the spirit of our fighters, when you talk to them, we, we, we are doing nothing. When you talk to these guys who sleep in the bushes every day, they don't even have food to eat. They don't, they don't have anything of their own. But when you hear the way they talk, you, you, the motivation, I mean, they are the ones motivating you to help them to fight. Isn't this ridiculous? When you hear the way these guys are determined, you will ask yourself, who has bewitched Ambazonians? Who has bewitched us? When you hear the way these guys are determined, they, they don't care about nothing. All they care about is the freedom of Ambazonia. And if we are here singing every day that we want a free homeland, we should allow ourselves to listen to these guys, listen to their call, heed to their call and provide them materials to fight the enemy. I mean, the enemy. That is Ambazonian's enemy, not their fellow brothers and sisters. If you hear these boys talk, then you will know that we are just joking out here. Those of us who have liberty, who have places to put our heads, who have food to eat in the morning, who have, you will know that we are, waste, we are even, you are not rendering service to your own self. You will feel so ashamed of yourself because somebody who has nothing is still willing to give it every breath that he had just to make sure that someday you will leave this luxury and go somewhere and call it home. And yet we are unable to make this come true. Ambalanders, we need to rally ourselves. Let's rally ourselves behind a leader that can lead us through this liberation phase. Let's rally ourselves behind a leader that has a plan for Ambazonia. Let's rally ourselves behind a leader who understand how to deal with La Republic, with a monster La Repub like La Republic. Let us un rally ourselves behind a leader who has a strategy, who has, who, who has stood the taste of time. We have tested all the leaders. They say go can only be known, that is go, when it goes through the, 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 the furnace of fire and come back out. That is when you see the beauty of it. We have seen this. Dr. Cho Lucas Ayaba has stood the taste of time. He has been consistent. He has been focused. He has been a La Republic oriented, the enemy focused. That is how you know who stands for them. He has never blinked. He has never flip flop. He has never said, uh, uh, okay, let us, yeah, maybe if we consider a, 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 a federation, it will be good for us. No, he has from day the, from the one. He understood that what we need to pass a clear message to La Republic and the international community that we are a nation was when he flew out of his own country, went down to ground zero and launched self-defense to tell you that nothing will stop us, nothing will come, we will not settle for anything but the outright independence of Ambazonia. We've had enough. We've had enough. Ambalanders. Ambalanders. We have wasted so much time. We have wasted so much time. We need to rally ourselves as a people behind a leader who has a vision so that we can kick La Republic completely out of our country. Let's stop these distractions. Let's stop these distractions here and there because each time he comes up with a plan, a concrete plan to take the monster out of our homeland, to liberate our people from our suffering, we come up with these distractions, distracting our people, uh, uh, creating a meeting here and there, they start talking noise and all that. That is not helping us. 
killing our own is not helping us those that were killed in buoy if we had them today and uh, we saw how there was a campaign in buoy taking place they were moving around freely feeling that they, 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 they uh, uh, and feeling so happy and all that that is because we were concentrating fighting one another but then still la republic this is a message for you yeah you had your fun during those days but the battle is on you had your fun those days but the battle is on ambazonians control ambazonia ambazonia is our land and we control ambazonia there is no election in ambazonia and we will not legitimize any la republic election in ambazonia so to our parents once again stay at home and be safe our boys are in a fighting mood and they will not want to be distracted by your presence in the communities because they will not have the energy and the time to defend you and fight the enemy at the same time so for your own good stay at home stay at home and be safe and we also just i just want to have this quick message to the international community for the international community to honestly hear it from us amazonians to honestly know that they have been the the instrument that has supported that that has promoted this corruption in amazonia or in la republic itself because every year for the past 57 years they send in observers they call themselves international observers they come in and they, they, they observe the election, go home and give reports about rigged election. The election was inconsistent. It was rigged. It was this and that. But the next year, you come back to, to supervise the same person. The same person writing recommendation when the person tells you this is a democracy. It takes a long time for it to materialize or for people to adjust to certain things. You continue to endorse him. You continue to endorse the same monster, the same dictator that has been in power for the past 57 years. Whereas in your own home countries, you cannot have a leader for five years and will not have a change. Nobody will go on for five years and will not have a change. It's either the person gets re-elected and the second term, that is the end of it, and the new person comes up, or the person even gets kicked out during the first term of office. And yet you endorse somebody that sits on the same place for, 57, for, for, for 37 years. 38 years, as a matter of fact. So the international community, the international community, all those who send observers, those are the people that have promoted this evil. They, that have promoted the assimilation of Amazonia within La Republic even. That have promoted, that have built a monster in La Republic. So let the international community know that their actions, their actions is equally what has uh, promoted the monster in La Republic because they have never been sanctioned in any way. If you do not sanction anybody when you talk and you do not implement sanctions, then you have done nothing because talking and talking without any form of sanction does not deter the person from repeating what he's been doing. yeah yeah just to let us know once again that every action that we take within ambazonia has a significant impact on la republic as we shut down on mondays know that you're bankrupting la republic we have seen how the economy has been bankrupt they've declared bankruptcy as a matter of fact you saw how sonora was coming down that is because we are action uh, 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 has a lot of consequences in the economy and our action is also sending a clear message to the international community that yes we are no longer we are no longer going to be part of these people we want them out of our territory so let's continue keep the fire burning as we come out to the, as we say no 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 election in our territory as we say the lockdown starts from tomorrow to the 12th of this month maintain the lockdown respect it stay at home once you stay at home and the uh, 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 the polling stations are empty they will know that 
La Republic is not welcome in Ambazonia. Even though they will try to bring in, they will go and bring people from Bafusam to come and vote in Ambazonia, the eyes of the international communities are watching. Even though they have really no significant in way. But they are watching. They are watching. And that is a clear message to Mr. Bia and to his government. They will come out with fake election observers like they did in the 2018 election. Their Tang and Jiza went and brought in fake international, uh, uh, transparency international observers to come on national TV and declare that elections were free and fair. They, even the international community knew it was fake. Because those same people who, who claimed they were uh, uh, from uh, uh, Transparency International were caught. You go on a national TV and lie. You pay, you import even fake in, uh, observers to come and observe your election. Just to come and tell the world that because they knew Ambazonians have boycotted the election and they just wanted to continue to legitimize their stay in Ambazonia and make the international community understand that there is no problem in Ambazonia or that they have they still have control in Ambazonia, they had to bring in fake international observers who will go on their own national TV to lie to the world that the elections were free and fair, they, they enjoyed how it was organized, it was Jesus Christ. That is how fake they will also bring people from Bafusam and other parts of La Republic to come and vote in Ambazonia and, and take pictures and send abroad and thinking that people will not know. But Ambazonians, the war is rising up, so you should also wise up. Don't allow yourselves to be used. Boya Martin, you are free to go and cast your useless vote tomorrow. That is your future. But I know that no true Ambazonians with their senses will go and vote. So you are an, a, a La Republic that you've tried to come and involve yourself here. And I don't have time for, for idiots like you. My dear uh, mothers and fathers, brothers and sisters, fellow soldiers on the ground, we thank you for the job that you're doing. We thank you for the momentum. We thank you for the spirit. We thank you for already maintaining it. So we just pray that you will continue until the last day and you will keep our people safe. Those at home, you will protect them as much as you can. And we know that you will make Ambazonia ungovernable within these days. We thank you. We appreciate you all. And for our mothers, like I said, I'll continue to reiterate the fact stay home and be safe. Nobody can guarantee your safety. From tomorrow, nobody can guarantee your safety. Like I said, don't be the stubborn fly that follow the call. For now, and I just want to thank everybody who has been here, those who have listened. I honestly hope you've taken out something from important thing i will want to remind us before i go is the fact that our guys are willing to fight they are ready to fight they have given their everything to fight what we should do is to rally ourselves behind a leader that will lead us through this liberation phase and give us freedom amber landers let's as a people and liberate homeland after which you can do what you want to do. I thank you all. I thank you very much for your kind attention. And I honestly hope something came out from this outing. You took something from this outing. And that's you will respect tomorrow's lockdown to the 12th. And you will stay at home. You will have to respect it because it is for your own good. It is for your own good because we cannot guarantee you safety. And those that you dine with, those that you wine with, don't forget that the same people will look at you and pull a trigger on your face. So thank you very much. God bless you all. Have a good evening.